guys. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> On this year's Valentine's Day vlog, today is inspired with the self-care words of affirmation. I have already done a physical touch as well as the quality time. So today is words of affirmation and I'm really excited for it. Let's get right into it. made like a little breakfast in bed edition but i'm already up now i'm not in my pajamas anymore so i might as well just make myself a nice little brunch breakfast vibe going on and you know just enjoy myself because i absolutely deserve it i deserve only the best <laughs> That using butter over oil in your ingredients whether you're baking or whatever that it makes the flavors in your in your batter in your product in your end product it makes it richer <laughs> I can do like mini Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse pancakes. So I'm just gonna take a cookie cutter. It's plastic, so I hope it does not melt onto the pancake or onto the onto the pan. I hope it does not melt. <laughs> This one better than this one. Nonetheless, princess treatment all the way. I hope it's clear by now that you know I cannot let you forget this. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe because I love you. And comment down below how you have spent your Valentine's. I would obviously, obviously like to know if you have gifted yourself, what have you gifted yourself, or what gifts have you received. 
Comment down below. I want to know. You guys remember when I said this, right? I love you. Like, 100 reasons why I love you. 10 reasons why I love you. Stick them as like a heart shape on the mirror. What better day to do it for myself on Valentine's? So I'm looking at it and I'm pretty really excited. Like I cannot contain this excitement. Um, I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. And these are just some things that I wrote down that I love about myself. There's more that I would have liked to fit in. Let me just show you this mirror. How it looks. It looks so sweet. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no. I'm not blushing. I'm not blushing. What do you guys think? Ah! Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah. <laughs> so, guilty as charged. I am blushing. Weren't you? Like, look at. Wouldn't you blush? Oh my days! <laughs> I've always had this mentality of anything for you, princess. Like my daily life. Like I've I've been saying some people might take it as bragging or being a spoiled brat. But if it's fact, it's fact, my love. Thing is I always get what I want and in this vibe, in this household, in this castle, in this palace, it is anything for you, princess. Like, do you think I was kidding when I say, please check me out, follow, like, comment, what about on TikTok, and hey, pretty princess? It's not for vibes. Actually, thinking about doing it for myself, I wasn't really, like, this excited as I am after seeing, like, the end result. But now that I am, love, I just want to do this every day. Like, I just want to do this every day. Like... Uh, like this is my brand like can you read what my my shirt is saying this is my brand this is me this is what i'm all about this is what i want to preach this is what i want to talk about all day and every day i want to stand on a pedestal and tell everyone about this about self love just love yourself date yourself find out who you are what you like i didn't realize that i would like this but here we are and it makes my heart melt <laughs> I'm not really a words of affirmation type of person, we all know this, but then, I don't know, maybe it's the heart shape, I don't know, I like it, I like it, I like it, I should do this more often actually, and you know, it actually also forces you to look inside you, figure out about yourself, what do you like about yourself, like, many people will talk about, no, I love myself, I'm not stand this, I love myself, yes, I like myself, but what about you do you like? What about you do you like? And this has this is not something that is uh, you don't include stuff like your accomplishments, you don't include stuff that can change or develop about you. This is like the core stuff about like maybe your humor, your wittiness, your quirkiness, your quirkiness. Like myself. I like that I'm quirky, I like that I'm witty, I like my humor, you know, I'll be cracking myself up some days and just laughing by myself. That's just how it is. Like, I love me. I love my smile. That's not a secret. I just thank God for the braces. I like my smile. I never had a problem with it. But now that I've had braces, and I'm like, I just love my smile. So I, love I just love this. You know this. Oh, man. If you know any creators that speak most oppressed on self-love, please tag them down below. I want to subscribe to them. I want to follow them. Because I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely here for it. I'm absolutely here yeah. for it. And my cheeks are starting to hurt right now because I've been smiling so much. Oh my days. I haven't missed a Valentine's Day without writing myself a love letter. So 2024, I'm not going to stop right now. I'm not going to stop the, the tradition right now. So here's what I have. I, I speak so highly about handwritten love letters. I emphasize on that and I praise on them because I personally love them. It gives effort, it gives authenticity. I love it. So that's why I also write myself love letters instead of just typing it on a laptop and printing it. Like this. And it also has my name at the back to show 
who is the recipient okay so I have a love letter for myself if I can go all out of writing a handwritten love letter making these special beautiful envelopes for a boyfriend I can do it for myself oh wow So here's the sitch. So I was thinking, since Valentine's only like a one day thing, do I now really need to take down my little heart shaped stickers? Oh, I like, do I really? Do I really? They're actually mine, so I can take them down whenever I want. Just for just for another week, just so that I can feel the vacuum of Iceland for the entire week. It's going to disturb me when I need to now do my words of affirmation and I cannot really look deep inside my eyes, you see, and I need to look deep inside my eyes. So I'm just gonna keep them only for a week. While we're still on it, let's please normalize writing love letters to ourselves. Even though words of affirmation may not be your love language, but it's also good to not starve yourself of kind words, of I love yous, of those compliments, of those affirmations. Okay, it's not that good. Just because it's not your love language doesn't mean you should not cater to yourself in that love language. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I I speak of this because I have love letters with me that I have written to myself. Some of them I do depending on the occasion, I do I I make myself um envelopes. But if I feel like nah envelope is not that important, it's fine, I will not feel some type of way, then I I just on a piece of paper as a letter I write the date that i want myself to receive it or read it then i read it okay so i have a whole a whole a whole stack of love letters and i'm adding and i'm adding this one for valentine's to the pile back in october last year i love the little kiss i really like it so much it's cute. This one has, it's, it's written, Do you notice that you're not worried about a man unless he's treating you right? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I could tell you this every day. I'm proud of you. But I once made, and I didn't film it, I once made this other pizza. It was so good. It was, it had a thick ass base and I was here for it. So I want to replicate that, you know, my dream is to continue baking that type of pizza. My dream is to do it exactly like that again because that pizza was so, so good. Nah, nah, nah. Don't be afraid. It's just me. So let's get this thing right started. Started preparing the ingredients. I've already started them out for the dough. What's going to happen is I'm going to do the dough right now and while I wait for it to 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 rise and all i'm going to do i'm going to prepare marinara sauce and as well as my toppings for the pizza and say and they tell you that kneading is not an exercise i'm sweating i don't know how am i sweating just from kneading but i've been kneading for 10 minutes
I just want to take this moment to thank God for the sun. To thank God for this weather. Because my dough rose to perfection. Like it's fluffy. It's airy. I love it. I love it. And I'm here for it. So thank you for watching today's vlog. Um, see you guys on the next vlog. See you guys on the next video. Bye.